Hello everyone, Chief Kanak here, back from E3 with some more Halo 5 news from this week's community update. First up, the Warzone Firefight content update is coming soon, it's the biggest update yet, and includes improved and updated Warzone Firefight on a variety of maps, the Warzone boss refresh which adds an element of randomness to bosses in Warzone and a bit more, a brand new Forge canvas along with Forge updates, campaign score attack, new achievements for campaign score attack, Updates to the Warzone Personal Scoring, Series 1 of the HCS Team Weapon Skins, a bunch of other updates, and of course, new vehicles, armor, weapons, and plenty more. Now on to the preview for Warzone Firefight. Warzone Firefight and Campaign Score Attack are the headliners for this update, but we also have three new maps and the new Forge canvas called Tidal. The known Warzone map is called Prospect, and it is a Warzone Assault variant for Skirmish at Darkstar. There is also another unknown Warzone map, which is likely tied to this concept art that was shown in the update. We got a brief teaser of it last week, but now we get the full piece of artwork, as well as an additional piece of artwork from the very same map, and it is a Warzone map. And as you can tell, it's St. Helios theme. We are indeed getting a St. Helios Warzone map either in this update or perhaps in the future. I have a feeling it is for this update it would make sense to go with that blurred out Warzone map. If not, then that means we'll be getting some more stuff in the future. Only time will tell, but I have a strong feeling we'll be getting this map with this update. We also have a new arena map, and judging by the blurry color scheme, it's likely the remix of the rig we saw a long time ago during the Sprint Halo 5 development series. You can see the yellow and orange glow, which is likely the molten aspect of the map. And finally, Tidal, which looks like a massive water canvas, kind of giving the same vibe as a wash from Halo 2 Anniversary. And here's a tease of some of the new objects on the new canvas. We have a giant olive the pig, some red cups, a number 18 flag, some beach gear, a golf ball, a giant Timmy the whale to the left from the looks of it as it has a stone texture applied to it. It's massive. And what everyone else is freaking out about, a rally warthog. Now in Halo 5 we have a small handful of rec items available in Forge, and lately loadout weapon variants have appeared in some arena maps. So perhaps they're adding just a few more to the Forge sandbox like the Rally Warthog, or perhaps they'll be adding all of them to Forge, which would be amazing, but we're only left to speculate at this time. Now with the latest Forge teasers, there's been the popular theory that we might be able to scale the size of objects, which would explain the giant all of the pig and now the giant Timmy the whale. That could be the case, however it's probably more likely that we'll be given just larger variant versions to pick from for those objects, that's probably more likely the case. And of course, everyone's been asking where's the race game mode for Halo 5, it's always been like the last game mode being added to the latest Halos. A little worrisome, a lot of people expected it with Hogwild, although Hogwild's contents were said to be pushed mostly to Warzone Firefight, so hopefully that this is the sign that we might be getting race, especially with the Rally Warthog being there. Is just the Rally Warthog coming, or are all the wrecks? If it's just the Rally Warthog, then hopefully that means race is also coming with this update. I know a lot of people are clamoring for proper support for maps, and we need game types for that in Halo 5 and, and any Halo games going forward. We do need these game types a little bit faster, and hopefully day one with the next big Halo release. Fingers crossed, it's just rumors at this point, maybe we'll be getting race as well. Now on to the Wreck preview page. We have an ultra rare Temple Banshee with this week's cannon fodder. Unfortunately, it didn't reveal how it functions differently, although it did give a nice little backstory. If you want to read it up for yourself, link will be down below in the description. And that goes for everything I've talked about in this video. Next to it, we have the classic Valkyrie emblem, followed by what looks like two blurry emblem wrecks and possibly an ultra rare stance or assassination. Moving on, we have the Cinder armor set and the Cyclops armor set, which was first shown during the Ghost of Meridian teaser. Next to that, we have a rare single-use wreck that looks yellow in color, so possibly another Temple Covenant variant vehicle. Perhaps a Temple Wraith, it kind of matches the shape and size. I'm not sure, but that's my initial reaction. Below that, we have a rare armor set, which could be the elusive GRD armor, which was first teased with Reach, but never made it into the game. Who knows, especially with the GRD doll being teased with the other Forge teasers. Maybe? Just maybe? Who knows? 
Next to that, we have what people seem to think is a plasma repeater, and I kind of have to agree. Although the color scheme looks absolutely crazy, we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not entirely sure what reasoning they would have to put the plasma repeater in. We already have the storm rifle, the brute plasma rifles, and it just seems like a little redundant. Or maybe if they make it more like a covenant saw? I, I don't know, I'm just spitballing at this point. After that, we have what I think could be a temple ghost, so perhaps we're also getting temple covenant vehicles. So we have temple banshee for sure, maybe wraith and maybe ghost. We have the patrol case ultra rare armor mod, which if it follows the recent armor mod additions, is likely exactly like the armor support upgrade for Halo 4, which provided extra ammo for loaded weapons and ordnance weapons. So perhaps that will translate to power weapons from wreck stations, because obviously we don't have ordnance weapons and no ordinance weapons shouldn't come back. D don't freak out. Next we have the Sora of Tish and Scale of Sorat Brute Plasma Rifle variants which appeared last month briefly in the Wreck Collection by mistake and were promptly removed. Those descriptions at the time said that the Sora of Tish had improved accuracy and upgraded heat dissipation so it doesn't overheat as quickly. And the Scale of Sorat had increased damage and had some sort of melee benefit that wasn't fully described in sort of gameplay mechanic terms so We'll have to wait and find out. These last three blurry wrecks appear to be single-use weapons from the looks of it, from the same set, so to speak. And according to many theories online, they sort of look like a classic beam rifle design from either Halo 2 or Halo 3. Or perhaps it could be the focus rifle from Reach. It's very hard to tell, but they all seem like interesting theories and they kind of match the shape of them. And 3 for 3 is definitely stepping up their blurring up tool that they've been using for these wrecks. It's making it a little bit harder. It'd be odd to see more beam rifles, but I don't know. Only time will tell. Maybe it's something brand new. Who knows? And that's it for the wrecks. However, some of you might be wondering, where are the Series 1 team skins for CLG, EG, and Optic? Well, those won't be available in regular wreck packs. Those will be available in specific wreck packs for each team, so there will be a CLG pack, an EG pack, and an Optic pack as proceeds will be going to support each of those teams depending on which packs you buy. So keep an eye out for those, they will have an assault rifle skin, a magnum skin, and an emblem. And that's it for the Warzone Firefight content so far. The release date has not been announced, but as of right now, it's still scheduled for the end of June, so stay tuned, we'll probably get a live stream announcement date, and then we can get the ball rolling from there. In other news, Community Doubles is this week's social playlist, and it apparently has some pretty amazing community-made maps, so go grab a friend and check them out. And that's it for this week's community update. Share your thoughts and theories for the blurred directs in the comments down below. I look forward to reading them. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. My name's Chief Canuck, and I'll see you guys next time.